there is only one problem recording videos in winter and especially when you don't have lights it's getting dark too fast so to compensate for that issue i installed here a photography bulb it's not perfect but it's good enough to start that video. In this episode, I'll show you some cool product videography tricks you can do at home, no matter how big is your apartment. For most of my product shoots, I'm gonna use Monster Energy Drink. I chose it because I really like the design of the packaging. I also like the design of the Red Bull. Plus, I'm recording the videos in a TikTok format and Monster and Red Bull are getting more likes. In that way, I'm killing two rabbits with one bullet. It's a win-win for everyone, except for the rabbit. The first set I created was with the green screen. I had a professional green screen, I bought it for around 50 euros, but if you don't want to spend the money or you don't have a green screen, you can use a green t-shirt. Just make sure that you have a plain green t-shirt. If you don't have a green t-shirt, the more popular version is to do it with a blue t-shirt. So both versions will work perfectly for that example. Just make sure that when you record on a blue background, there is nothing blue on the can, and when you record on the green background, there is nothing green on the... The second item I ordered from Amazon is cheap electrical spinner that breaks my nerves because it's so damn crappy. And actually it's really bad, the motor hardly handles uh, the bottle of Monster on top, it's very shaky, it's really not a good product. And if you notice here I purposely positioned the Monster can on a glass, like that I'm picking up the can and it's easier for me to isolate the green background because otherwise it will be on the black surface and it will be a little bit harder with masking. And the third thing is the lights. For that set I used Godox SL60 and Godox SL150. Both lights are amazing and they are really affordable for professional gear. If you don't have professional lights, don't worry about it, just find any kind of light you have. If you have a second phone, you can just turn on the flashlight and shine from one of the sides. It will produce amazing results. You just have to play with the positioning and how far away is the light. When you film with green screen, the magic is happening in the editing room. For that video, I will edit everything in Premiere Pro, but you can achieve very similar results on your mobile phone. I have a full video teaching you how to achieve something similar with your mobile phone. It's a really detailed tutorial, you can find it here. I'm going to use for those examples Premiere Pro because I want to be a little bit more precise with the masking technique. So the result is a little bit better. After you import the clip to Premiere Pro, make the color adjustments first. After you're done with the color adjustments, go to effects and add ultra key. That is the chroma key functionality, when you can pick a color and it will make it transparent. There are three parameters that will help you to make the perfect transparent selection. That is the highlights, the shadows and the tolerance. You just have to play here with the sliders until you have the perfect transparency. The next step is to create the mask and unfortunately because our spinner was horrible we have a lot of movement and we have to add keyframes and animate the mask manually. That is the most time consuming part of such type of project, being precise with the mask. After we are ready with the mask we are so flexible, we have the can fully spinning around and everything is transparent so we can easily create zoom in and zoom out animation, we can clone the can, we can cover it in a different colors, so the possibilities are endless. kind of effect can be achieved with any kind of products, not only with some cans and bottles. For example, I use my old Nike shoe. Actually, it is statistically proven that brands that implement videos on their single product page have up to 33% higher conversion rate than brands that use only images because people know that images can be photoshopped, but when it's a video, it's more trustworthy. Next, I move from the green screen to the black screen. Here I had a photography black curtain which was around 3 meters. All the products I'm mentioning in that video will be in the description. But if you don't have anything black, you can use a black t-shirt or any kind of black material, just stick it to the wall. One trick you can use when you film beverages is to mix water with glycerin. I'm not 100% is it in English glycerin, I'll google it and I'll write it down here, but it should be something very similar. So you have to mix 50% glycerin with 50% water and to find the spraying bottle. The glycerin is transparent and it looks like water but when you spray it on the bottle the drops are not uh, going down 
and like that the bottles look fresh and crispy. All the food photographers and videographers are using that trick. Oh, perfect. Perfect. It looks amazing. Let me zoom the camera so you can see it better. One very powerful technique used by professional photographers is not to review everything with the light. So you can turn off all the lights and show just parts of the subject. That will spark the curiosity of the viewer and he'll be very hungry to see more from that product because he doesn't see everything. So sometimes you just have to show a little bit so you can spark that curiosity and then you reveal the whole product. If you want to step up your cinematic mobile skills, go out and check my mobile cinematic course in the description. There you're gonna learn how to become a full-time mobile content creator, how to work with clients, how to lend client deals and how to film products as well. Here you can play also with the color of the light. You can do the color contrast from one side red, from other side blue. You can experiment with different colors, especially if you have an RGB light. Sky is the limit because you can choose any kind of color. For the next shot, I'm gonna use some MMMs. I'll just drop them on a broken Amazon box and I'll throw them in the air while the phone is recording. Of course, I will record slow motion. Record how you do it several times and after that on post-production, stack the layers over each other and change the blending mode to screen. Now we came to the most interesting part of the video. Most of you know that if you have a Deo and you spray it directly into a flame, it will create amazing big flame. But first, here you have to be careful that you can create a fire. Second, the Deo can explode because of the heat if you're not careful. Now let's go to shoot. First you need a really dark room with not a lot of light. Some light can be in the room, the flame is very bright, so when you set the correct exposure on your phone, the light will not be visible. How to set up the exposure is a very tricky question. So you have your can, next to the can I will light the lighter. I'll lock the exposure on the bright part near the lighter and I'll drag the exposure down. And when I flame it, everything will be perfect. For the next shot, we have a t-shirt hanging on the wall. I taped it. We have sugar mixer with wooden stick this is how it looks you press the button and it moves and we have some strawberries first thing first we have to draw the curtain so it gets dark in the room careful with the flowers every time you do those bullshits and then i have to go to clean after you all around perfect really good oh amazing oh ho, ho. Good. Good, good 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 great no i don't ever hold my tongue tongue I will never be what you expect Maybe you need to get your eyes checked I hope you enjoyed that episode. Don't forget to destroy the like button because more people can find the video in that way. Subscribe, watch some other videos and see you in the next episode. I just want to show you the room after our water experiment. Everything is wet plus Mary and that's her unhappy face. I finished filming maybe three or four hours ago, but as you can see, there's still water drops. Actually, these are glycerin drops, and that's why you use glycerin, not water. Unfortunately, you have to wipe it because it's very oily.